today I am buying from my subscriber businesses again, but this time I bought them all secretly so they didn't know it was me. I'll make sure to link all of these businesses down below if you see something you like. I'm so excited because all of these today are so fun and so unique. Where should we start with? Let's do this big one. You also might notice that I'm wearing some of the things that I previously bought from some of your businesses. Okay, so this one is by Emma and it's called Petal Eon. And these are flowers that last two or more years, which is so cool. And price-wise, they range from about $29 to $170, depending on if you want like a really little one or a big one. And I do believe there is some assembly required, so I'm not really sure what to expect. <laughs> A few different pieces. I'm guessing that's my vase. And box, box, and some little flowers. Probably the instructions. So they all come as a little kit. Step one, do not panic, it's easy. Okay, good. <laughs> Remove flowers from packaging, okay. Cute vase, look at that. Wow, here they are. It comes with three of these little pink roses. The heck, I thought they'd be just dried, but they're not. They literally feel like a fresh flower. That's crazy. Oh, more flowers. Oh, those are cute. White ones in there. Oh, and some green ones. I love it. You start with our big roses. Such a cool way to package them too so that they stay in the little thing. Put those in just far enough to hold. Cute. Okay, and then we hide the stems with these hydrangeas. Oh, I love these green ones. Okay, nice. And then this is all of our just little decorative pieces that we stick throughout. Okay, Emma, how did I do? That was actually so fun. It took about 10 minutes. This is so cool. This is actually a really fun gift because not only did they last two years, but you can say, I designed it. <laughs> Such a clever business idea. This one is by Danielle and it's called Resin Blooms. And it's this really cool like jewelry that's made with pressed flowers and stuff. Super unique and cool. Okay, I got two things. The first one is some little earrings. These are so cool. I love those little flowers. We've got some silver in there. Mm, those are beautiful, let's put them on. Cute, they're surprisingly lightweight too. Okay, I love that. And then the second thing that I got is not jewelry, but I have really gotten back into reading novels lately. I realized I don't own a bookmark. <laughs> I've just been folding the pages over in my book, which is really painful to do, honestly. Look at what else she makes. These little bookmarks. Cute, this is gonna be perfect. So fun. Great job, Danielle. <laughs> Next up is Milky Meow, which is such a cute business name. And this is by Brooke. In case you're wondering how I found out about your businesses, these are people that either slid into my comments or my DMs, so. If you have a business, let me know and I might just buy from it. Uh, can we talk about how cute this box is too? <laughs> So, you guys might know I love press-on nails. I have a whole stash of them. They're just so convenient because I love having my nails done, but I don't like spending hours at the salon. They're like half the cost of getting your nails done, but you still get to enjoy and support talented artists like Brooke. So, I got a couple different pairs. Oh, little handwritten notes. Your support means so much to me. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. What about YouTube? <laughs> okay, and I love that both sets came with like a whole little kit with nail files and glue and alcohol wipes and stuff. A lot of times you have to buy this separately, so good job, Brooke. Okay, wait till you see these nails though. How fun are these? So these are called Rainbow Trip. They're so colorful and they're like matte. So cool. Okay, then the second pair. I really liked these. I thought they had just like a cozy wintery vibe to them. Look at these little sweater nails. Those ones have trees painted on them. These are amazing. I can't believe these are only $45. Like, oh, and then each set came with a whole stack of little stickers that kind of match the theme of the nails. Just so good. I love small businesses. <laughs> Next is Stacks by M. M, I love your packaging. The paper bag is honestly brilliant. So this is all handmade jewelry. And a lot of it has like friendship bracelet vibes, but luxury. And I let my assistant Anna pick out a bunch of these for me so that I'd be surprised. You picked out some great things. Anna, you picked out some great things. <laughs> <gasps> You got the necklace. <laughs> okay, this is one of the more expensive things, but it's so cool. Repurposed 
Prada necklace. So this is like the little charm that Prada puts on their clothes and purses and stuff. And she turned it into a necklace. Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna wear this all the time. I love that. And then some of her other handmade things. Oh, she sent a little bag. Cute. We've got a cute bracelet stack. Look at this with the little smiley faces. And I love this one with the pearls and the crystals. Do you see what I mean though? Like friendship vibes, but very just like minimalistic and beautiful. Kylie stack, I think is what this one's called. Super cute. Oh, I think these were sold separately though. Smiley bracelet and Anna bracelet. <laughs> This is so much fun. I love this haul and it literally makes it a thousand times better that this is stuff you guys made. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, time to open another big one. So this one is by Linny. Her business on Etsy is called Third Story Threads and it's all things quilt, quilting supplies. And when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. It's all handmade. I think this is the most expensive thing in our haul today, but it's so cool. <laughs> it is one of the cutest quilts I have ever seen. Also, I have such respect for for quilters, like it is a process. <gasps> Little thank you note. Hope it brings you tons of comfort and joy. From my hands and heart to you, Bethany. Is Linny your nickname? <laughs> that would make sense, I guess, right? Bethany, Linny, are you the same person? <laughs> so this was $299, but it's a big quilt. And from what I could tell, that's like, Kind of standard what you could sell a quilt like this for. <gasps> oh my gosh, the colors. Are you ready for this though? So cool. It's like a 70s theme. And then I don't remember seeing the pictures of the back on the website, but it's this cute flower pattern. I'm obsessed with this. Bethany, you nailed this. I love it. <laughs> All right, next up is Kylie. Kylie's business is called Northwest Angel Arts and it's resin accessories that she makes, but the story behind it is she lost her Nana and her best friend. So this whole business is like in memory of her, which I thought was awesome. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the little hand drawn note. Oh my gosh. This is already so cute. Thank you so much for supporting my small business. It means the world to me. I hope you love your goodies, smiley face. Cute, and then a little code for money off my next order. <laughs> Kylie, I love you. So there's resin jewelry, but also she does like resin art. And she had these cute stickers of some of her pieces. How cool are those? And then the other thing I got, which, hi freebies. Look at all this stuff. A little business card, your dream is achievable sticker. <laughs> and then just some cute little bonus things. I love it, but I got. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> Cowboy ghost earrings. How precious are those? The pink ombre and the sparkles. And I got these because, don't judge me, I pulled this out of the reader clothes to show it to you, but. <laughs> Ghost cowboy shirt. I, I got this for a video. I can't remember which one. That's so cute. <laughs> it's so dirty. Next up is Aubrey with Bree's Slime Shop. I know that you guys love slime as much as I do. <laughs> and I'm so excited for these. So these are all handmade and there's so many fun ones. So I told Anna to just pick out a few that you thought I'd like. <laughs> Two. Okay, let's start with this little one. Oh my gosh. It's a Taylor Swift lover themed slime. I have to open it immediately. And pretty much all the slimes come with like fun little things you can put in them. Ooh, it's like a milky white slime. <laughs> let's add the fun stuff though. Okay, so we have beads. These are the tiniest Ziplocs I have ever seen in my whole life. These are adorable. <laughs> I wanna eat these, whatever they are. They're, oh, they're foam. Can't eat them. <laughs> Pearl beads, cute. And pink glitter. So fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, and Aubrey just picks the funnest themes for all of these slimes. So I'm excited to see what the other two are. Next one, I can see another pink one. Yes. <laughs> Barbie. It's Barbie. It's almost like Anna knows me or something. <laughs> okay, this, oh, this comes with some fun stuff. So the slime is, ooh, <gasps> light pink. This one comes with also some of the foam balls. Lots more this time though. Ah! <laughs> Those in. Yes, this is so Barbie. Like We've also got Barbie pink glitter. Super cute. And probably my favorite thing, these little flowers with smiley faces in them. So fun. Okay, now we mix it. <laughs> this is not how you mix slime. Nobody watch. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's cool though. I love it. That's the good thing about slime is we can just clean up the mess that we made with the slime. And then the little smiley faces just like pop out randomly. <laughs> I love it. Last Brie slime is Harry Potter slime. 
<laughs> Look how cute that is. Okay, this one's like a corally color. Comes with white foam balls. Oh wait, I was gonna do it differently yeah, this that. time. <laughs> I'm taking it out this time. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Making a mess. We're gonna put it all in the middle here this time so it can't go everywhere. White ones. Black glitter. Ooh. The last one is my favorite. Crystals. I don't think I've ever had a slime with crystals in it. Oh, these are pretty. Oh my gosh. Time to mix it. <laughs> so fun. Brie, you are so creative. You absolutely nailed it with these little kits and the theming and the packaging. I love doing these videos because I've gotten messages from a couple of you that have said, my videos inspired you to start your own businesses or take up a hobby you've been thinking about for a while. And I have to say, if these people can do a business, so can you. <laughs> I've talked about it before in my other videos and this is not sponsored, but like genuinely, if you have something that you make and you want to sell, it can be so easy to just set up like a Shopify store or something. That's what I did when I first started selling my merch. Okay, I do have a link with them that gets you a free trial to build a website. I don't get paid or anything from it, but it really is so easy. They walk you through the whole thing. All right, on the same but different note, next up we have Tyler, AKA King Slime. I'm so excited to try these. Okay, so Tyler slimes are all fantasy themed and I really like the packaging and the branding of this stuff. So I'm really excited to try it. Oh, wow, look at these stickers that it came with. Some crowns. Oh my gosh. Stop, that's so cool. Okay, wait till you see these. Oh wow, we even have some activator, amazing. And our first one is, oh, this is gonna be a good one. I'm so excited. I believe this one is the sandalwood amber one. This is so cool. Look at everything that's in here. We've got silver, gold, these like chunky gold. Oh, it's so cool. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know my slime types very well. <laughs> this is like a, a clear slime. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. What? Wow. <laughs> okay, I love these little gold things. They feel so satisfying in the slime. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty. This one honestly exceeded all my expectations. <laughs> Getting it back in is gonna be a little tricky, but packaging too. Okay, the other one I got, I believe this is honeysuckle jelly slime. Is that what the clear slimes are called? I think. <laughs> Look at this. This one is the one that the sticker is. It's this blue glitter. This is gonna be good. It looks like it should be blue raspberry flavored. <laughs> okay, not flavored, but Ooh, this one smells good too. They just smell so clean. Ooh, this one's fun. <laughs> Cubes are like, they're kind of soft. I don't know if you're supposed to break them, but that was really satisfying. <laughs> Listen to the sound when you pull apart the cubes. <laughs> I love it. This is great. <laughs> And there's even more of you that have messaged me that have slime shops. So I could honestly do a whole video of just buying slime from you guys. And that would be so much fun. So send me all your slime shops. <laughs> <laughs> Our final business is by Michael Sparks. I'm so excited for this. It is a very unique product. So I got this from the Etsy store and it is called the blank light. I'm honestly not entirely sure how it all works, but we're about to find out together. Okay, and the description of this is rave light up bag, cyberpunk bag, LED festival bag, futuristic bag, wireless charger, cosplay purse, unique rave purse, techno festival purse. purse. <laughs> a light up bag that also works as a wireless charger is brilliant, but it has some other features that look really, really cool. I'm guessing this glows. Here it is. Okay, it doesn't come with instructions, so we're gonna have to kind of guess. So I think we need to charge this thing up, so I will see you when it's all ready to go. All right, we've got this thing plugged in. It does open, and there's enough room to put like your phone and like probably some credit cards and stuff, which is cool. I didn't think you could actually put anything in it, but you can. And then to make like designs and stuff on it actually requires liquid. So we've got this little pen, some water, some dish soap. Time to turn the lights out. So we've got the top and the sides glowing. And let's try our liquids and see if it does anything. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Now I'm gonna try to do a handprint. That's what they had on Etsy and it looked so cool. Okay. Okay, it kind of worked. My hand wasn't that wet to be fair. Nice. Okay, and the other thing it's supposed to react to is like when you breathe on it. 
Whoa. That's pretty cool. Okay, the pen and stuff definitely works the best though. Awesome. And then you're supposed to just be able to like wipe it off and you can like start over. Oh, the soap works really good. So if it's a liquid that's a little bit sticky, it's definitely the trick. Cute. It's supposed to react to music, but I genuinely have no idea how. <laughs> doing it? No. It's like a dial. Oh, it's working. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. <laughs> it's reacting to my voice. What? <laughs> yeah, and then I think if you let the soap and stuff dry, you'll have a permanent pattern. <laughs> oh, whoa. All right, Michael, this is a cool device. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you saw one of your products, let me know in the comments. I hope you were surprised. Uh, make sure to check out all of my other videos where I bought subscriber businesses if you haven't been to watch those yet. And we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, YouTube. Ha 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 ha!